Welcome to the online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about uh, introduction of economic of power generation, load crew, and load duration curve. First, what is the economic of power generation? The art of determining the per unit cost of the production of electrical energy is known as the economics of power generation a power to a large number of consumer to meet their requirement while designing and building of power station efforts should be made to achieve overall economy so that per unit cost of the production is low as possible this will be enable to the electrical supply company to sell the electrical energy at a profit and ensure the reliable service the problem of determining of the cost of the production of the electrical energy is highly complex it poses challenges to the power engineer these are several factors which are influence the production cost such as a cost of the land and equipment deprecation of equipment interest of capital investment etc therefore a the careful study has to be made to calculate the cost of the production in this chapter we shall the focus or our attention on the various aspect of economical of power generation here the load curve represent for the domestic for industrial for rural and for tourist here the x axis is represent the timing and y axis is represent the load load curve or chronological curve is a graphical representation of the load in proper time sequence and the time in hours it shows the variation of the load in the power station when the load crew is uh, plotted for the 24 hours in a day then it is called the daily load crew if uh, one year is considered then the annual load crew the load crew of the power plant is not same for all day it is different from day to season to season the load crew mainly they classify into the two types one is the summer and second is the winter load crew here the some information obtained from the load crew First is the load duration curve. Determine the load variation during the different hours of the day. It indicates the peak load, which determines the maximum demand on the power station. And third, the area under the load curve gives the total energy generated in the period under the consideration. The area under the curve divided by the total number of hours gives the load. and the ratio of the area under the load curve of the total area of the rectangular in which it gives the load factor so this information getting from the load curve and some use of the information from the load curve is the load curve is the decided the installed capacity of the power station it is helpful in choosing the most economical sizes of the various station units the load curve estimate the generating cost it decided the operating schedule of the power station the sequence in which different generating units should be run next is the street light load curve the street light load curve means the how to energy demand for the street light in summer in winter here june 21 date is represent for the summer condition and december 21 date represent for the winter condition in a summer condition the energy use 6 to 6 to 6 means the 12 hours means the total day length is 12 hours but in december 21 used the 5 to 8 5 to 7 means the 14 to 15 hours electricity used for street light so here compared to comparison between the summer and winter condition summer in a summer street light load consumption is very less compared to the winter condition our next 
Lorca represent for the industrial condition. In the industrial condition, the in the night time, load is demand is very less. When the day start from 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. here demand is increased for the energy. After the 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Here some recess time and lunch time. So here the energy consumption is less and graph is slow down. But after the 2 m, after the 2 pm to 6 to 8 pm, here increase the load shown in the figure and then decrease the load in shown the figure for the industrial condition in the industrial condition in the summer and winter is not a larger difference for the demand of the electricity is a negligible difference so here we plot the only one graph for summer or winter next load curve is represent the urban traction load curve in the urban traction load curve the midnight to noon first graph represent here 12 to 12 here first increase the load then decrease this condition is defined for the urban condition and then after the midday same graph represent some peak load for the 6 am or 6 pm in both condition before the noon and after the noon 6 am and 6 pm peak load condition then decrease the graph here for the summer and winter represent only one graph next is the for the residential load in the for the residential load here two graph is present one for the summer one for the winter in the residential load for summer and winter is same for the midnight to means the 12 m to 6 pm but 6 pm to in the night time you use the fans ac so here demand the electricity is increased in the summer and winter or fan is also closed so that here demand is decreased there is a main difference between summer and winter load count here all the load count represent for the residential condition industrial condition is the in a practical not the plate but uh, in a theoretical we consider this a plate curve for the easy calculation the ideal load, load curve is flat but practically it is far from the flat for a flat load curve the load factor will be higher higher load factor means the more uniform load pattern with the fewer variation in the load but in a practical condition it is far from the flat load curve load duration curve is defined as the curve between the load and the time in which the ordinate representing the load plotted in order to decreasing the magnitude with the greater load at the left laser load toward the right and the lowest load at the time extreme right here first figure is present the load curve and second figure is the present the load duration curve for the plotting the load duration curve some steps is required first step is the, from the data available from the load curve determine the maximum load and duration for which it occurs Second is to now take the next load and the total time during which this and and the previous load occurs and last step is to plot the load against the time during which it occurs. Here some information from the load duration curve. First is the load duration curve gives the minimum load present throughout the specified period. It authorizes the section of the base load and peak load power plant. Any point on the load duration curve represent the total duration in the hours for the corresponding load and all load of the greater values. The area under the load duration curve represent the energy associated with the load duration curve. 
the average demand during the some specified time three year such as the day per month can be obtained from the load duration curve here represent the load curve first 12 to 4 over 5 megawatt load require 4 to 8 15 megawatt load require to 16 20 megawatt load require 16 to 24 5 megawatt load require for the load duration curve we first find the maximum load here maximum load is the 20 megawatt 20 megawatt for the 8 to 16 mean the 8 hours so here plot the 0 to 8 20 megawatt then 15 megawatt 4 to 8 time so through the 8 to 12 15 megawatt 4 hour duration 4 hour duration and after 5 megawatt 5 megawatt for 12 to 4 means 4 hour and also 16 to 24 means the 8 hour the total 12 hours here 12 to 24 total 12 hour through the 5 megawatt this is the process for the plotting the load duration count thank you